Hey, hey everyone, Crylopix here. And today I thought I'd do something a little bit different called Paint by Sticker. And it's just like a paint by numbers or a color by numbers where instead of paint or markers, you fill in the spots with uh, numbered stickers. So that's it. And I got this Masterpieces edition. They had several other editions, like some animals or some crafts or something like that. But uh, yeah, I picked this one because it seemed uh, quite interesting to me. And it has some of my favorite uh, pieces of art in here. And there are 12 uh, pieces of artwork in here. Actually, I think it has in the back. Ah, uh, yes. So it has these different pieces. I don't know if you can see them here. But it seems quite interesting to do, and I like Hoax Size Wave. That's one of my favorite pieces. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll do that with you guys today. To do this, uh, so in this book, it's separated into two sections. And you have the, the art page with all the stickers, like, sections off here and labeled. And then you have the sticker section. So you have to find the sticker set that goes with this particular art piece, which is not hard because they're just in the corners here. So pretty good, very easy to do. And yeah, so I did a couple of practice pieces. <laughs> I did uh, Monet's Houses of Parliament and I did the Creation of Adam by Michelangelo. And as you can see, the results, uh, it's a low poly version of these pieces. Um, so it's uh, interesting, I guess. Very interesting. And it's a very interesting craft to do. So, yes. Now, the as you, since you can see there, you can tear out the pages individually. It is perforated, so that makes it a lot easier to work with. And so I've already torn out the pages for Hoax Size Wave. And as I was doing that, I realized how epic this piece is. <laughs> I just, I can't seem to do small pieces on this channel. So yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. It's got three pages of stickers. They're all labeled or sectioned off by letter. And they're all individually labeled. So let's get to playing. And then I'll also explain how I like to um, put down the stickers. So this is actually the second time uh, I've tried to record this. The first one, I ended up like, I freaked out because the stickers are not, they're not cut exactly right. They, like they don't, perfectly fit the shapes on the pages and there were gaps and everything it like completely freaked me out and I couldn't handle it <laughs> I started ranting I was like um yeah that probably isn't good to uh, have in the video so I stopped I walked away and calmed down finished it because I was like I need to finish this and then I did another one to practice and um, to try and find a way to get around this like little bit of OCD I had about it and uh, so I figured it out uh, the way that I'm putting the stickers on now is from the outside in and from uh, left to right but the stickers have to overlay each other so I try to line up the outside edges and that's why I go outside to in so that way uh, any overlay occurs on the inside so that way the outline is as it should be and so learning this and practicing on um, the second picture helped a lot um, it yeah it made me feel a lot better about this craft although I still say if you have any real like OCD or OCD tendencies, you might want to stay away from this. <laughs> I should have read the instructions a lot more carefully before I started my first one because whew, it maybe would have given me a clue into things, but I did read this part and it reads like uh, a guided meditation, so I'm going to read it to you. <laughs> okay. 
You're holding the sticker. It has a number by it, D31. That's easy to remember, D31. You take the sticker to the art page. On the page is a silhouette. Inside the silhouette is a network of delicate lines, as if a spider drew you a picture. All you have to do is find the shape labeled D31. It's over there. While you do it, you might think about your day. You might take a moment to feel your own breath and relax. You place the sticker onto the space. It's as if you fill the space with a perfectly even coat of paint. You brought color to the world. It might have been the delicate violets of a Monet, or the deep blue shadows in Hokusai's great wave of Kanagawa. It's a giddy feeling, simple beauty. You could do it again. You could paint the whole image. It'd be yours. Don't worry if the lines are a bit off. They look like the irregular stones in a mosaic. Timeless. Simple. Go ahead, you're a natural. And when you're ready, open your eyes. <laughs>